Greetings. Now I will show you how to install, start up and maintain a Burnitube boiler. There are two grates with the boiler depending from the fuel you use. One is for pellets and the other for cool. That for coal is from two pieces. Care for the position of that opening. To place one of the grates first remove the ceramic. Thanks to the two bolts in front and from behind we fix the grate at its place. Put back the ceramic. Fill up with fuel which in our case is brown cool. For more information about the fuels you can use read the manual. Now we have to set the parameters of the controller. The first thing we see is the hardware and software version. With up and down buttons we can set the maximum temperature of the boiler. With the menu button we enter the menu. In the first menu we choose the boiler to be on standby or not. Use the menu button to confirm. With exit button go back to the main menu. In the screen menu we can select what to see. If you choose CH you will see the current and the set temperature of the boiler in the beginning. If you choose DHW you will see the current temperature of the domestic hot water and the maximum set temperature of the boiler. From the menu CH temperature set the maximum temperature of the boiler. From the menu DHW temperature set the maximum temperature for domestic hot water. From manual mode you can start manually the auger and the fan of the burner. The central heating pump. And the domestic hot water pump. There are light indicators for that menu.
From work time we set the time for the auger to work. Take that value from the manual. From work pause we set the pause between two feeding cycles again using the manual. The temperature alarm menu must be set to zero. Set the fan speed with the value from the manual. In work mode we set with what priority the controller will work. If house heating is selected only the central heating works. If DHW priority is selected both pumps work but domestic hot water is with priority. If parallel pumps is selected both pumps work. The sustain menus set the mode in which the boiler have reached its maximum set temperature. In that case the auger will work for 20 seconds. On every 30 minutes. And the fan power will be 80%. We set this so the flame in the burner will not extinguish. From weak regulation we can set weekly programmer. Fan boundary can stop the fan work if the temperature of the boiler is below 35 degrees. We advise to select no. From language we can change the language of their menus. The factory settings menu can reset all adjustments to the factory ones. To fire up the boiler we have to fill the auger with fuel. Do this from the manual mode.
When the fuel is at this level we stop the auger. Use brush wood and fire starter block to light it up. Now we turn off the standby mode and the boiler goes to normal working mode. After an hour we check how the boiler burns. It should look like this. Now I will show you how to clean a burnet UB boiler. Remove the upper protective door. Pull out the turbulators. Pull out the ceramic. With the provided tools clean the burning chamber. Put back the turbulators. Care for the upper turbulator position. This end must be in the back and pointed top.
put everything else back. Finally clean the ashtray and around it. The boiler is now ready for exploitation.